Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, why do dinosaur names end in saurus? If you've ever been to a museum and checked out dinosaur fossils, you may have noticed that many dinosaur names end with saurus, such as Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, and the infamous Tyrannosaurus. Where exactly did this name come from, and how did they come up with it? Looking at a dinosaur fossil, it may look very similar to another creature that still exists today, the lizard. When these fossils were first discovered, that was the same thought scientists had. Believed to be giant lizards, they decided to use the Greek word saurus, meaning lizard when naming these new creatures. For a more well-rounded name, it was combined with another Greek word, denios, and the word dinosaur was born, meaning terrible lizard. As more fossils were discovered, new names were created, and thinking the creatures to be part of the reptile family, they continued with the theme of saurus. Many dinosaurs are sometimes named for a prominent feature they had. So, for example, the Stegosaurus means covered lizard due to the body plates covering its body. The famous T. rex is named the tyrant lizard or king of the tyrant lizard as it's one of the largest carnivore dinosaurs. Today, it's been discovered that dinosaurs are actually more closely related to birds than to reptiles. To avoid any confusion and having to rename them, we still call them dinosaurs. The person who discovers a new species has the honour of naming this new dinosaur. Some still go the Saurus route, such as Albertosaurus, named after where it was discovered in Alberta, Canada, while others will go the non-traditional route with names like Irritator. Imagine discovering new fossils and being able to name it. Captainosaurus or even Thinkosaurus has an ice ring to it. So that's why dinosaur names end in Saurus. That took some thinking.